You're watching KCTV English News. I'm Hyung Shim. The provincial government is strengthening quarantine measures against the African swine fever. It intensified the quarantine measures as officials expect the recent typhoon to have washed away all the disinfectants sprayed at local pig farms and livestock facilities. Thus, the province will use 55 tons of lime and 16,000 liters of disinfectants to fumigate pig farms and livestock housings. It will also dispatch 29 vehicles to spray disinfectants on roads and areas near pig farms. A team of local officials will conduct on-site inspections to check whether pig farms and livestock facilities are following quarantine measures. The province has decided to reapply for the Electric Vehicle Special Zone project by revising its plan to focus on specializing in EV charging services. Since the Ministry of SMEs and Startups excluded Jeju from the list of candidate regions for the EV Special Zone project, local officials drastically revised the plan and decided to take a different approach. The revised plan includes providing mobile EV charging services, creating platforms to share charging infrastructure, and upgrading infrastructure to reduce charging time. The province will submit its final plan to Seoul on October 11th after collecting Islanders' opinions by October 7th. The province issue certificate for victims and bereaved families of the April 3rd incident is gaining popularity. The province has received about 10,000 applications for five months since it began accepting applications in April. So far, the certificates have been issued to more than 9,100 people. Those with the certificate can get up to 50% off on domestic flights operated by Jeju Air. They can also receive discounts on medical and parking fees and enter local tourist attractions for free. The province is planning to expand benefits by consulting with airlines and local movie theaters. We hope they can receive more benefits. Lotte Tour Development will hire 3,100 new employees to work at Jeju Dream Tower by the end of this year. The company will recruit 270 experienced managers from October 7th and look for new recruits from December. The structural framework of the tower is complete and its exterior will be finished by the end of this month. The complex will open next April. Jeju Air is running two direct flight routes between Jeju and Taiwan. The Jeju Taipei route was launched this Wednesday and the Jeju Kaohsiung route was launched this Thursday. Both of the two routes operate twice a week with Jeju Kaohsiung route running every Thursday and Sunday. Jeju Air has launched four international flights this year, including flights heading Hong Kong, Fukuoka, Bangkok, and Taiwan. It's time again for Film Focus. Here's Mike Lehman with a couple of new movies available now on KCTV's beauty service. The two new movies coming to KCTV's VOD service are both worlds apart, but one and the same, too. One is an action crime drama, the other a comedy crime drama, and it's really quite something to see the difference that that one little word can make. Both are headlined by a recognizable name, Andrew Garfield for Under the Silver Lake and Nicole Kidman for Destroyer. And they feature, you guessed it, ample helpings of both crime and drama, but the similarities stop there. Let's tip the destroyer that's sitting on the Silver Lake and see if we can unravel what makes these two flicks tip. Welcome to another edition of Film Focus. I'm Mike Lademan. Destroyer features Nicole Kidman in a role like you've never seen before. In fact, I'd go so far to say that if you aren't really familiar with her and her body of work, you could probably watch the whole movie and not realize that it's her. Such is her transformation. LAPD detective Aaron Bell was placed undercover with a gang in the California desert, a move that ended in tragedy. Now, years later, when the leader of the gang once again emerges, Erin must work with the remaining members to take her place and reckon with the demons that destroyed her past. On the surface, it sounds like a typical cop movie, but the spin director Catherine Kusama gives it, as well as the inspiring performance by Kidman, put this in a whole other league. It's not without its faults, but it's well worth your time at home on the small screen. Let's ditch the action and instead take a helping of comedy, shall we? 
Luckily, that's just what Under the Silver Lake has to offer. When Sam finds a woman frolicking in his apartment swimming pool, he immediately falls for her, only to have her mysteriously vanish by the next morning. What begins as a simple search for the young woman takes Sam deep into the underbelly of L.A. through mystery, scandal, and secrecy. Under the Silver Lake takes a big bite of plot and character and does its best to choke it all down. It's far from perfect and more than a few times wanders off a bit, unable to properly maneuver all the complexity it's trying to handle. The end result, while not all that it could be, is nonetheless ambitious. And anyone looking for an original, quirky and comedic action drama will be well served here. Under the Silver. Enjoy a unique and modern take on the works of Gustav Klimt and Hunter Wasser at the new Bunker de Lumiere. Enjoy the beautiful night view on Jeju City tour bus. Rights are available every Fridays and Saturdays through October 19th. Stroll along Flowerland Roads on Capado during the Small Islands Autumn Flower Festival. Come and learn the local horse culture and enjoy hands-on activities for children and adults. Taking a look at our weather, skies will be very cloudy throughout Saturday. For more details, here's your forecast. The morning low in Jeju City will be 20 and the afternoon high will rise to 22 degrees. Down south in Hagipo, we expect a low at 20 in the morning and a high at 25 in the afternoon. Over in Songsan, the temperatures will be 19 in the morning, warming up to 22 degrees. Across the island in Busan, we expect a low of 20 and a high of 22 degrees. And up on the mountain at Songpanak, we'll hit a low of 14, topping off at 18 degrees. Out on the water, winds will be out of the northwest and north at a speed of 7 to 13 meters per second, with seas between 1 and 2.5 meters. And here's a look at the extended forecast. Thanks for tuning in today. Make sure you follow us on YouTube at KCTV E News Jeju and on KCTV's VOD service. 시청해주신 여러분 고맙습니다.